Hi everybody, we have our winter project, our 1983 Honda Big Reds, 200cc. Things in pretty good shape. Done a lot of just cheap maintenance on it to keep it running. What we're going to work on right now is the wheel bearings in the rear wheel and the front wheel. What uh, we had happening was as soon as you start kind of spinning, letting the back end slide, the wheel bearings would be loose, the wheels wobble and the whole axle would shift and then the chain would fall off the rear sprocket. So we kept having to put the sprocket on. It took us a little while to kind of figure out that's what the issue was. So we're going to replace the back uh, bearings and the front bearings and we'll see how it goes. I think the first step is we just found out when we took the seat off to just to disconnect the battery and do some stuff is we have a few uh, few friends that were making a nest in the winter time underneath there so we're just going to clean that up. Hey we're here first step we're just going to jack it up we have Duke the shop dog he's he's here to kind of give us a hand. Just to take the lug nuts off the rear wheels, so we're going to do that on both sides. Then we'll remove the cotter pin and we'll come back. To so take the lug nuts off, wheel comes off. I'll have access to the uh, nut that keeps the hub on with the cotter pin. We'll take the cotter pin out, take the nut off. Okay, we've got some light down here. I'll show you what the problem is. So here we are. So just hold this. We'll hold the axle. And you can see it. The whole thing's wiggling. So with that amount of play in there, the, basically the chain comes off the bottom or the, the sprocket on the inside and just falls off. Then we ended up having to push the three wheeler back to the garage. Something we don't want to do. Let's just take that nut off. And we're gonna keep track of the stuff here, how it comes off. Plate comes off. Oh, it wasn't seized on there. It wasn't seized on there, so that's one of the good things. Sometimes if these are seized on there, you may have to heat it up with a torch and that to get that off. We'll see how the other side is um, with the brake assembly. I'm not optimistic it's gonna come off very easy, but it's been on in or on there for almost 40 years. And uh, grandma and grandpa didn't do a lot of maintenance over the year with it, so over the years, so we'll see how it goes. Just going to take off the three uh, bolts and some of the other bolts just to kind of have access to the chains just so we can uh, see what we're doing. I think we have to take this off anyway. So We got uh, a chain cover off. As you can see that uh, that top gap shouldn't be in there so it looks like we've had some chain rubbing quite a while. We have access to the uh, the chain in that now too. So the sprocket looks like it's in okay shape. So we were kind of worried that uh, one of the times we were going quite fast and uh, I spun the tires and the chain came off and it got jammed in there. So I was afraid that it was going to break some of the teeth off, but it looks it's uh, looks like it's in good shape. Well, we tried the uh, 12 volt impact, the Milwaukee at first, but uh, just didn't quite have enough power. So we're going to try the rigid. If not, we have a, we'll turn on the air tools. Oh, no problem. I'll just take, uh, there's four, four of these that hold the sprocket on. <laughs> Trying to get the sprocket off, then we realized that there was a there's metal a snap ring. Kind of like a sir clip kind of yeah. clip that was on it. So once we took that off, came off easy. Duke's right in there trying to help. Good job, Duke. Oh, there. Okay, so we have the, uh, the right wheel taken off. We just took off the four four uh, nuts holding the wheel on. It just comes right off. Just to get stop from getting confused, we kind of just label the, the parts as we're taking them off. So as we can see again here, well, you can see the whole the whole axle, how much play there is in it. So. Ok, 
Yeah, we tried doing it the old-fashioned way at first and just putting a 19 mil socket onto here and cranking it with the uh, the handle here. But <coughs> couldn't do it, so we just <laughs> threw the 19 mil onto the impact gun and came off super easy. Clay and it's uh, mud, old dirt. 37 years of uh, collections. Just don't breathe this stuff in here. God knows what's in there. These two uh, nuts seized, so we're just spraying it and letting the WD 40 soak into it. Just use two big adjustable wrenches here. I'll have to edit out the part where I, I hit, the uh, hit your shirt with the grease, my greasy gloves, so we won't show that to mom. Just watch your threads on that then. Yeah. Well, I thought when we took away the floor jack, it just put it underneath blocks here, but I think I've seen everything now. We got, what, a four foot piece on the pipe. Okay, well this took us about a half hour to do. It uh, didn't come off as easily as we thought. It was seized on, so it's never been taken off. So uh, right here, there's a washer that comes off, and behind that there's a metal uh, gasket that was completely uh, just rot it out. As a rubber o-ring. Yeah, a rubber o-ring. So we tried to uh, just to pry it off. Could pry it off. We tried heating the crap out of it. Couldn't get it to pry it off. So what we ended up doing was uh, we put a sledge against the axle on the uh, right hand side and we just hammered just like that. But a lot harder. And we basically just drove the axle out the other side. So now we can actually take it off. So. We can see what uh, 37 years of wear and tear does on the brake pads. There's absolutely nothing there, so. Okay. Well, we got the axle off at least, so we'll be able to take that out. And uh, look at the bearings. Okay, here's the axle. We'll uh, just clean that up as well. Yeah, so we got the rubber seal here. And these are the bearings part here they uh, don't feel very good they actually this one might be slightly seized yeah, it moves okay let's continue one thing I just noticed when we uh, hammer out the axle this is one solid piece we ended up uh, just bending the end tried to uh, just put the nut on but uh, obviously we don't want to ruin the threads anymore because it's Japanese we're assuming it's metric but unfortunately I don't think we have the proper size so we have to get uh, somebody to help us out with that